My name is Professor Timothy Skinner. I'm the head of the School of Psychological and Clinical Sciences here at Charles Darwin University. And I want to talk to you about the value of meditation in helping you regulate your emotions and enabling you to learn and recall more information. Over the past 20 years, there's been a vast expansion in the research around the value of meditation. And we can say with a great deal of confidence now that practicing meditation for about 20 minutes a day, every day of the week, will have a huge impact on your emotional state. It will help you be calmer, but it also will help you respond with much less uh, reactivity to events that occur during the day. And being calm when you're trying to learn information is really important because it helps you remember it, to store it, and being calm when you recall it makes it much easier for you to recall that information. Now, of course, there are many, many different types of meditation from the very physically active meditation that you might see of the practices of the whirling dervishes to some of the complex Tibetan uh, meditations where they create these amazing sand mandalas, which are then just sweeped away when they're finished with to the classical image that people have of sitting cross-legged stationary for many uh, hours, sometimes at a time in meditation. What we don't have is evidence to say that any one of those types of meditation is any better for you than any other. But we do know that that practice of meditating for 20 minutes a day has benefits for you. And what we will give you is some guided, simple meditation practices that you can do at home that enable you to do that daily practice. The question also is therefore, well, when's the best time for me to practice meditation? When is the best time for me to do these 20 minutes? Generally speaking, most people would agree that there are thought to be two very good times to practice. First thing in the morning and later in the day and in the evening. Myself, I tend to recommend in the morning. And that's for the very simple reason that if I've done my meditation in the morning, then other things that I might want to do in the rest of my day don't get in the way of me practicing later. So generally we don't recommend trying to meditate after drinking alcohol or taking any psychoactive drugs. It affects your meditation practice and your ability to just do that practice. You don't just have to do meditation this regular 20 minutes a day every day. You can use meditation as and when you need it to help you regulate emotions through the day there and then when life is getting to you. That can be the frustrating way you noise and the bustle of the day when you're trying to commute to school or work and you're hassled at the bus stop in the crowded train or just before an exam or just in the middle of an exam. There are simple one minute meditation practices you can do there and then anywhere in your day that will just enable you to manage and respond to life's events with a bit more serenity and a bit more calmness and that will help you learn and recall information.